In the last video I showed you how you could quickly find viable property sites for development all over Auckland. In this video I'll show you how you can enrich your site search by adding um, numerous um, data to it so that it'll help you with your decision making. For example, I can show you how you can add um, zoning information, um, designation, designation data, um, public transport, etc. Even schools. Um, okay, let's begin. Okay, the first thing you do, which was the same as last time, was to indicate an approximate location. This time we'll go to uh, Monaco, which is my hood. Um, next, we'll choose a land size, um, 800 by say about 2,000 square meters. Let's choose a zone. I'm going to choose mixed use for this one. And then enter in my details. I already got mine there by default. And let's go. Click here. The disclaimer obviously just to make sure that we understand the rules around the use of this application um, i'm looking to build and enhance this tool so i really appreciate some feedback so hit i understand get started and there we have it all the viable sites that are 800 by 2000 square meters um let's hover over one of particular interest for example uh, let's go closer to the township area here we go so let's enrich this sort of analysis is a property here um that looks promising um a thousand square meters or so yeah, the land use is single units excluding batch okay th th this is data derived from orca council i'm just consuming it here's a little legal description and here's titles um okay let's enrich this analysis by going to data which is this button on the top left corner in the middle click on that and you've got you got all the data in the world base basically over here um you can overlay the unit tree plan we've already got that by the search uh you can overlay schools pharmacies public transport population growth and if you just close this a bit and zoom out you see all the data start to pile on on the top right corner oh, that doesn't look very well i will just got to reorder the um the layers which is okay uh, top right corner there there's here's all the data that's been pulled in we'll switch the population growth off and then you can see the rest um yeah i got some ordering to do but that's okay it's quite easy to uh, to put together uh so what you're seeing here are all the pharmacies let's look at the legend it's bus stops bus routes trains train service nz pharmacies this is all the pharmacies and the, these are all the schools so if we go back to our original i think it was this one up here 101 there we go and if you, if you pull out you can see all the potential schools that are around that that area so that's a bit of the data and i've got we've got designations building footprints land sales and the list goes on underground services wastewater pipes it just starts piling on uh, depending on your use case and depending on your professional background as well so if you're a planner this could be quite useful there's all the underlying um services which is basically it's, it's almost everything so there's lpg uh, gas um, pipelines there's transport power trans power sorry there's water there's storm water the list goes on so it's really up to you what you want to pull in hide and show so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna switch things off a little bit because it's getting quite crazy is designations that's normally a good one basically um council approved development areas so i've got designations switched on here uh here's all the designations i think this one might be might be a school um i don't have pop-ups just yet because this is purely a show and tell we've got con this one was actually quite popular with the property developers we got um go to environment we got contours that's pretty good so yeah, this one roughly indicates how flat the land is so this one's pretty flat which is viable viable option for development you might look oh there's already a a building there yes correct so in the next video i'll show you how you can possibly reshape this the site here for uh, further development but while we're at it i'll just click on this basically a google earth tool that i've got embedded what it does is just we'll switch to google earth and we'll um, see that property in google earth uh, in 3d so it just adds more context to your to your site selection let's let that load up there's 101 there look at that zoom out a bit and just just note that this is this purely to add further analysis to your decision making and that doesn't look really good for me so i'm going to hover down using the um the nav the nav man 
go down by and get a street view of the place. Oh, that looks pretty good. There's one dwelling there. It's a carport. Uh, you can look around the neighborhood if you want. But that's just adding more more context to your um, to your site selection. Okay, let's switch back to the app itself. Um, and there's more data. There's environmental, there's contextual layers, which basically supermarkets, uh, census, weekly rent, and the list goes on. Strategic net future transport networks. I've got that indicative here as well. So you can see where the upcoming um, transport transports are happening all over Auckland. Let's just zoom out a bit see what it looks like okay so this big circle means we've got to do vision that multimodal okay there's going to be a multimodal there's going to be significant investment in this area in the future which is good to know as part of your um analysis but yeah that's just a quick dirty down tutorial of how you can enrich your mapping your sites uh, search um and you can pan around the whole of auckland too to see where other options are depending on where you want to go uh, that'll save you so much time especially with the property developers uh, just looking for for sites it could take uh, possibly weeks or even months to find a, a site this will, tool will help you find it in, in a couple of minutes so big time saver in my next video i'm going to show you how you can take advantage take this further by um adding uh basically planning the um the site Basically, is this tool here? I'll, I'll take you through it and see what it can do, which is you might find quite useful as well.